February, London's famous Haringey Arena became the scene of a remarkable venture, a private motor show organized by Ford of Dagenham. Representatives of the government, of industry, of the services, and from abroad, were invited to witness the ceremonial occasion. News was in the air that new models were due to be announced, and for some time, excitement and curiosity had been growing. What were they like? Everyone wanted to know. This was the day on which the news broke. Inside the hall, specially converted for the occasion, the stars of the show were soon introduced in dramatic fashion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Three Graces. The New Zodiac. The New Zephyr. and the new console. As befits the coming out of three beautiful new models, Haringey Arena was converted into a superb, modern exhibition pavilion. The three graces were displayed against a background which did them justice. This is a closer look at the superbly styled new Zodiac. Long, low, elegant. The new Zephyr. The new Consul. The new Consul Convertible. After the introductions had been formally made, the guests were invited to inspect the exhibits. They didn't have to be asked twice. In the busy and impressive atmosphere of a modern exhibition, members of the government, suppliers, dealers, and most important, buyers from abroad, were able to assess the new cars from close to. In particular, visitors were able to take their first look at the cars, which will soon be making their way to all the corners of the globe. Senior members of the Ford Motor Company Limited England were there to chat with the guests and to draw attention to the finer points. Yes, madam, they are real. The Haringey presentation was the culmination of months and years of hard planning, engineering, and testing. 
In order to demonstrate their performance, the press were invited to witness a series of special demonstrations. First, the braking test. In turn, the three cars approach at 30 and 50 miles an hour, and after the application of the relatively small pedal pressure of 50 pounds, came to a halt in this grid. The braking efficiency of the cars could then be calculated. Here's the Zephyr approaching at 30 miles an hour. Apply a brake pressure of 50 pounds, which is recorded on the dial. Stopping distance, 38 feet. And here it is at 50 miles an hour. Brake pressure of 50 pounds applied again. Stopping distance, 95 feet. And here's the console undergoing the same tests. When these results were compared with the braking efficiency of comparable models, the three graces were found to be the most efficient. To demonstrate the small turning circle of these new cars, a standard cricket pitch was marked out, 22 yards long. A standard Zephyr was then driven through two 180 degree turns. First one way, then the other. There on the left you see the stumps and the crease. Ah, not out, sir. The chicane, which came next, is a test of maneuverability, braking, and acceleration. The cars were driven through a series of gates and stopped at certain compulsory points. The times of these runs were taken and compared with other models in the same class. The three graces came out well on top. Stopping and starting, turning and accelerating, all these are tested and the favorable times obtained give a clue to the superb performance of the Zodiac, Zephyr, and Consul. Here's another test. The car reverses into a space between the small flags. Imagine it to be a garage. It stops. It moves round into another garage. Stops again. Then reverses out. This is a test for the ease of obtaining reverse gear and, more important, the all-round visibility. Perfect four-point visibility is a notable feature of the three graces. Finally, the wiggle waggle, a severe test for car and driver. Here's the Zodiac being put through its paces. Stability and maneuverability are vividly demonstrated. outdoor tests carried out at Ford's proving ground in front of the country's leading motoring journalists who turned out in force despite the icy conditions amply demonstrated that the new Ford Zodiac, Zephyr and Consul are as outstanding in performance as they are in looks. Britain and her export territories can confidently expect to hear a great deal more about the three graces in the years to come.